All right, back again with another Patreon exclusive piece of content. Uh, this one is another commentary track. Uh, this is for the film Guns Akimbo. This came out back in uh, the middle of the pandemic. It was right when the world got shut down. We were all stuck in our homes. And I've been kind of interested in seeing this movie, and I, I never got to see it in the theater because the world got shut down. Nobody was going to theaters. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is the one that was... Um, the movie that everybody knew through memes, <laughs> the image of... Uh, of uh, good old Harry Potter himself standing in the middle of the street in a bathrobe with two guns bolted to his hands. Uh, yeah, this is this is that movie. Uh, this is a lot of fun. We we had a good time watching this. I come back to this movie every now and again because it's an easy breezy watch. It's like a it's like an hour thirty. You'll breeze through it no problem. Uh, it's kind of like uh, the film The Running Man. Uh, we also pitch it as kind of like a side story to the Crank universe, which honestly makes sense. And uh, this commentary track, we actually discussed how this could be used as a jumping off point to get to a third Crank movie. We're never going to get a third Crank movie, unfortunately. Jason Statham's fee is way too high at this point, and those two directors have gone off and done their their totally different paths in their filmmaking careers. Uh, so this is kind of like um, uh, a what if, if we ever got a third Crank movie. I, I wish we could get one, but we never will. This is a lot of fun, though. It's, it's definitely filled with problems. There's some bad, bad CGI. There's some bad visual effects and editing is weird. It, it clearly was edited during the pandemic. And you could tell, like, OK, the movie's not done. It's not completely there. It's like an 80 percent complete film. But it's still a lot of fun for all of its flaws, for all the issues I have with it. I had a good time. And this commentary track will only enrich that experience. Uh, if you got if you have a free afternoon. If you have a, if it's a rainy Sunday, you don't know what's put on, throw on Guns Akimbo, throw on our commentary track and have a good time. So here's our commentary track for the film, Guns Akimbo. Enjoy. Welcome to another Montressor Media film commentary, where it's just like hanging out with the guys or the Discord. And we do this once a week. Sometimes it's for a movie that we're going to be talking about, and sometimes it's just to hang out and watch a movie, and that's what Guns Akimbo is. Um, as soon as I am done talking, you can hit play on your device and uh, listen along with us. Oh, now, this is the most shocking part of the movie when I first watched it. Oh, Saban? Saban, yeah. It's like, oh yeah. does Daniel Radcliffe become a Power Ranger, I thought? <laughs> well, they started making films because they did that Power Rangers reboot. Mm. They figured, like, you know, why don't we just get in the film game? And, of course, that film didn't do so well. Yeah. But it made a lot of Krispy Kreme money. Yeah. Oh, Ugh. that pissed me off when I saw that in the movie. Oh. I won't lie, I did buy one of the donuts. It was just pure sugar in the shape of a lightning bolt. Am I the only person that doesn't really like Krispy Kreme? It's just eh. something about the texture. I just don't care for it. There's a there's a spot in my hometown called Crumpies, and they spoiled the shit out of me, so Krispy Kreme's, like, just fine. Hmm. I like fractured prune. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, the first time I saw this, I thought, Lawnmower Man? <laughs> I'm looking at him right now. I'm thinking, did Dr. Manhattan jump on the internet? watched this before. Okay. 
I love their choice to make this not a video game movie. Like it would have been so boring. Yeah. 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 I first really got vibes of that Dave Franco next movie or whatever it was called. Oh, Nerve? Nerve. That's it. Yeah, that's on the chopping block. It's almost like a more graphic Scott Pilgrim. Hmm. Yeah, when I came away from <laughs> Yeah, when I came away from this movie after watching it, I was like, this is like if you blended together John Wick, The Purge, and Kick Ass into one movie. Throw a little crank in there too. Cause yeah, this does almost this game does almost feel like uh the purge made for millennials. <laughs> it just goes to show like how much stylization can make a pretty ordinary plot just fantastic mm-hmm. to watch. Oh yeah. I mean, because if you really break down the story and the plot, it makes no sense. Mm. You know, it's like, why are the cops not able to stop this? <laughs> it's like, but that's not the point. Well, the movie I, exists for the style. I think we get an answer about the cops later on, but <laughs> rings. Oh, yeah, some of them are on the take, but it's like, all the cops? No. It's... I'm just living my life. Ameri- hey, Doom. <laughs> He's just living his life. Oh. You guys remember Code Monkeys? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember the song. I love you, whores! And I love you, sluts! <laughs> That's our Dan Radcliffe, American uh, I, I as Apple Bread. This, this character is an incel. Yeah. Do you really think about it? He is. He's like fucking with people online all the time. Ah, oh, jeez! I swear there are some shots in this movie where Radcliffe looks like ugh, where Radcliffe looks like my brother. Uh-uh. Oh, this is the first incel versus Chad fight. <laughs> uh, I seriously thought the long haired friend when I saw him was like that's not Edgar Wright is it ah. <laughs> mm. is this Michael Scott I am happy he ascended out of Harry Potter. Yeah. Because he's genuinely talented. What was the name of that uh, Netflix film that Ron was in? No idea. Yeah. His career kind of stalled. He does yeah. music now. Oof. Oh, you left out the running man in your amalgamation of this movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> See, he's an incel. Yeah. Feed I love me your rage. He sees himself as a hero. Yeah.
Mm. It says admin. I wouldn't fuck with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. You're blo- you're blocked. Hope you feel mm. good about yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a VPN. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. There's... Also, can we just point out that he's a he's a code monkey, but he can afford an apartment like this? <laughs> just they, it, it's clearly this way because they need to have a big room for the shootout. And look, he he had a choice between re-upping on NordVPN or getting that Usagi Yojimbo figurine. It was a tough choice, but he made That's... the right call at the time. Very true. I will say their relationship is very sweet. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Right, now leave the house and go to your friend's place. Ah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this movie has convinced me to always re-up on my current VPN. <laughs> Just mm-hmm. so shit similar to this does not happen. <laughs> Surprisingly, his super pa- surprisingly his superpower is positive masculinity. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Not Simon Pegg? Yeah, I thought it was Simon Pegg for a little while. I was thinking he was kind of a mixture between John Malkovich and uh, who is who is the ball bearded guy on Breaking Bad who wasn't Brian Cranston. He was also the teacher on com- t- Community season five. Oh, um, uh, Jonathan Banks. Hank Banks. No, no, Mike. Mike. Okay. Yeah, Jonathan Banks. Yeah. Still need to watch Breaking Bad. Oh, it's so good. Wham. Okay, when are we going to pitch this as a side story to the Crank movies? <laughs> we have we have discussed that. Like, how do you get to the third Crank movie? You <coughs> pitch this as a side story, and what's Jeb Chelios' motivation for the uh, third Crank film? He's been forced to play Schism to save Amy Smart. There's your way in. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Oh man, here's what you do. Uh he's got to keep like a uh, an internal like USB system charged. So he's got to run from like charging plug to charging plug around the city. <laughs> so it's also speed. Well, crank was kind of also speed, but in ter- but Well, it's kind of like a it's kind of a play- take off on the uh the second film where it's keeps his yeah, yeah. arc going. It's like more complicated. Mm. Yeah. Once you do, you know, 
electricity and adrenaline. There's nothing else to juice yourself with. Yeah. Uh, maybe um, <laughs> testosterone. Oh. Just yeah, he's like he's losing his his physical his physical abilities, so he's constantly getting he's shrinking as he's moving around. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it is goofy, but it's like I don't, I can't like, think of anything else. Like uh, nanobots that are eating his muscle if he's not like yes. gaining muscle. Yes, he needs to keep like consuming like it's it's bloodshot. Ro- God damn it, <laughs> it's bloodshot. <laughs> yeah, keeps eating chicken and broccoli every yeah. Diner he's he like goes he, to. he has to, he runs into a slaughterhouse and he finds like a finds like a giant slab of beef and just starts eating the fucking thing raw. <laughs> it's also. fucking raw. <laughs> also, it's fucking raw. <laughs> also, f- fifty bullets couldn't fit into guns those small. Ding. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, be really good. Have a sequence where Miles wakes up next to Chev Chelios, and they're just arguing with each other. And then Miles says, "Do I look like I have cunt written on my forehead?" And uh. somebody has actually written cunt on his forehead, and Chev <laughs> is just like. Take a look. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you do. (laughs) Well, the camera work in this scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Because it's just like... What was the budget for this? It was like six million, seven million? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He just charges back up. Well, that could be a crank movie, trying to keep your oxygen up with an inhaler constantly. Yeah. Well, that's what he needs. Yeah. So he has to keep going, running around trying to find new inhalers to keep himself going. And Chev constantly needs more testosterone to, you know, it's like, it's sort of like if Chev is negative masculinity, that means that uh, Miles is positive masculinity. Mm. So you have these two guys sort of as foils of each other, but they eventually have to work together. I like, oh, I never noticed that uh, she's in the TV. Oh, yeah. Ah, he saw the camera. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> oh, nobody. Just the best part of this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what Suicide Squad should have looked like. <laughs> Yep. I have to ask myself, better than the shootout at the Westboro Baptist Church in Kingsman? Yes or no? Know. Close second. Close second. Yeah. It's not as long. Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty good. <laughs> Whoever the light designer was for this scene, just... Nailed Nailed it. It. L- Lego brass knuckles. That's I know. Clever. It's great. I love the fact that Samara so, Weaving looks so much like Margot Robbie, and people have commented that she looks exactly like her, and she was like, <laughs> oh, well, people are confusing me with her. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I first watched this movie with subtitles, and the subtitles ended up spoiling that the cop is her dad because they refer yeah. to him by his surname. It was like, yeah. oh, that's disappointing. I, I sometimes think of, like, manhunts whenever I see these guys with the masks. <clears throat> 
I could I could see the, it. Yeah, the game Manhunt, which makes sense, like concept wise, not really story or tone wise, but you know, there's one game that should never become a movie. Ah. God, that'd be fucked up. Wait, wait, which which one? Man Manhunt. Hunt. Oh. It was the torture murder simulator. <laughs> it's really nasty. It was made right, right after I think Grand Theft Auto Three. All right, good to know. Yeah. It was it was yeah, right it was right after Columbine. <laughs> so you that say was... man you say Manhunt? I think Hannibal Lecter. Oh, oh, you're thinking Manhunter? Oh, yeah, yeah. Which coincidentally also starred Brian Cox. Brian Cox also had the voice in uh, in Manhunt. Ah, sticking in his wheelhouse. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. <clears throat> Uh, but it fits. If you can read this, you're too close. <laughs> I had to rewind and pause the film. Just to catch that. Shrapnel, Shrapnel City. City. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Watchdog. I get it. I get it. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> I wish Watchdog would be I, I always hate five, Can five, I call five that? numbers. I hate that. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, <see? Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, we're going to kick out of this if you're <laughs> watching right now. Dude, just pee yourself. No one's going to judge you. Yeah, you've done worse things today. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh no, Robocop's gonna shoot his prosthetic off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's the best. They really did fuck him with that, though. Yeah. There's legitimately no reason why he has to have guns bolted to his hands. It's just, that's the gimmick of the movie. I think it's to ensure that he passed a fight. And limit yeah. his options of where he can go. It's, I guess that's true. All right, asshole, how are you going to get it out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. How does he get it out? Is that a marker in her nose? It was it was a dollar bill for snorting coke. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that she actually looks like she's been up all night on a coke binge. Yeah. She she mm. really looks like complete shit. She looks like something out of a Rob Zombie movie. She looks like Rob Zombie's wife. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a pussy. Are they watching Hard Target? I couldn't tell. Brandon would know. Yeah, it's hard target. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Hard target. I, I get it. God, I love the music in this movie. It's like it, it's like video game music. Ooh. Ow. Ow. It's like video game music, but not really. It fits as a score. It's like a video game music could be programmed to follow the rise and fall in action. Oh yeah, interactive uh interactive soundtrack. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> we all know this. We all know this <laughs> from the memes. <laughs> Ugh. That was cringy. Yeah. Yeah. But he's kind of cringy. We all know this from memes. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks to die outside of Starbucks. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm not sure why that's there. That weird blur effect. Mm. Likely because the stunt didn't look as good if it was cut normal. Yeah. So they had to post process it. Impressive he's able to run this well with tiger footy shoes. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you see actors that are supposed to be barefoot in movies running, usually they're wearing very hard sandals. Because mm. that, that way they don't uh, hurt their feet. And I, I made a joke earlier, but I hope CinemaSins never discovers this movie. Oh, uh, Oh, yeah, it's just... Ah, uh, fuck CinemaSins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right here, like, the, the, the prongs are gone. It's, like, right there. <laughs> Those things, if they get into your skin, they're near impossible to pull out. <laughs> now just now I'm just trying to imagine Edward scissor hands, but instead of scissors, it's a gun on each finger. <laughs> oh Jesus, Edward gun hands. <laughs> he still perfectly carves the ice sculpture. <laughs> we have a drone. <laughs> yeah. I wonder. Since COVID is so problematic right now for filming, I wonder if drone filming is going to become the next big thing. Just do all the audio and post, film everything with drones. Yeah, I mean, if you teach your if you teach your actors how to lav up too, like they, there's no reason you couldn't get live audio that day as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to cover up for the sound of the drone. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, I'm kind of more excited for how animated shows and movies are going to take off in COVID. Oh, don't let the RPG go to waste. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got a big RPG boner right now, and I want to use it. <laughs> Kershaw's RPG. <laughs> if you introduce it in a scene, it must go off. I from Wanted, I'm going to bend the RPG around you and shoot what's behind you. Oh, <laughs>
Oh, there's just so many shots that remind me of my brother. It's really unsettling me. <laughs> <laughs> so what what you're saying is your brother has a career future as a Daniel Radcliffe star. As a John Wick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I kind of wish in moments where he has time to breathe and calm down, he just leads with Guys from Schism broke into my apartment. They bolted guns to my hands. Yeah. Yeah. But say it with me. Because <laughs> yeah. the movie needed, needed to happen. happen. <laughs> Applies to the good movies, too. <clears throat> yeah. It's the gimme moment. Give me this one thing. I can make it work. Like, if, she, if he came clean to everybody about, hey, I have guns bolted to my hands, the movie is like, what, 30 minutes long? <laughs> So, you know, I'll let it slide. I think the movie could still happen. I mean, take road A, take road B, they all lead to the same destination. And he also looks like a Rob Zombie character. Is the mic picking me up? If Fuckface can keep his mask on. <laughs> something, something, Bojack Horseman reference, something, something. <laughs> it even references the Streets of Rage. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't think that guy is wearing a kilt. (laughs) Oh no, it's not a kilt. It's he's wrapped his shirt around his his jacket around his waist. I don't think anybody's done that since like what nineteen (laughs) ninety seven. It's definitely a very specific look. Yeah, very specific. I'm wondering if there's anyone else in this movie besides him and Nyx who look like they came out of a Rob Zombie music video. Uh, uh, the homeless guy coming up. Yeah. Oh yeah. When I first saw the the- time, I thought that was Sam. I thought that was Sam Raimi's brother, Ted Raimi. I thought it was Tim I Roth. S- <laughs> Apparently, it's just some. It's some. Uh, is it an Australian or a New Zealand actor? Hmm. Yeah. I know I've seen him in stuff before, but I can't for the life of me remember what. Yeah, he's one of those actors where it's like you you've seen the face, but and you but you don't know the name. <laughs> this would not be my first decision. He's pulling a Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> he's like a Terry Pratchett character. Yeah, 
Would crying make his eyes all red like that? He looks like he got hit by pepper spray. He he did he in did. the car. Oh yeah, yeah right. For, oh <laughs> duh. I'm sorry. There's so much happening. Nick went potty for a minute. <laughs> it's fine. No, I'm watching the movie. This is just so much visual stimulation. Oh yeah. No, I would not like a chewable opioid. I'm good, thanks. Because, <laughs> like, he didn't get the police didn't have spray him with pepper spray. No, it was actually. Yeah, it was X. Yeah, I'm remembering now. I love normal McNormalson. He's just like. Where are you going, Harvey? I know I've seen that guy in a bunch of stuff. I can't remember what. He looks like a young Kevin Costner, question mark? Maybe. I... <laughs> oh, Jesus, this scene. <sighs> Uh, you deserve to have guns bolted to your hand. Yeah. I will say, it's kind of like, um, it attacks, like, hipster douchebag culture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At <laughs> Griffin's <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh, 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 <laughs> right next to a used condom and I, oh god, god I never noticed that I, oh jesus oh. <laughs> you never noticed it thank you visual imagery <laughs> Mm, I wonder what kind of mustard that is. <laughs> oh, or is God. it even mustard? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Who else would it be? You smoke this guy. It's about as hot as he's gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> This is a really clean looking movie. I don't know what they shot it on for that budget, yeah. but whew. I think it was the red. I think the red's pretty affordable now. When it first came out, it was like <laughs> five grand. Now it's like fifteen hundred. So like, oh shit! I love how yeah, it because they're, they're so plentiful now. Like most stuff is digital. You know, I mean, uh, just the base camera. I'm not talking like lenses as well. Sure. Oh, with this yeah. being with this being my first rewatch, I love how that business guy has appeared in prior quote crowd shots before this point. 
It's nice oh, attention yeah. to detail. That's a very efficient way of uh, saving money on your budget. You hire the same extras. I think that was a David Cronenberg thing for a lot of his movies that he started out with. They were um, they would use the same extras in crowd shots, so that way they could save money on the budget. Just redress them and change their hair. You wouldn't notice. That's a great idea. Yeah. I should I should make my own drinking game where I drink every time a shot reminds me. <laughs> he either looks like Edgar Wright or like Legolas from Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> or Orlando Bloom in Pirates of the Caribbean, I should say. I think the credits list him as something something right. <laughs> is it Edgar Wright's brother? Is that what it is? Maybe. I don't know. I know he has a brother. Also, I didn't finish. I, I didn't finish my thought. I should. I said I should make a drinking game where I drink a shot every time a shot in the film reminds me of my own brother because it just. <laughs> I can't watch this movie, in like rapid succession. <laughs> yeah. The um the guy with the mohawk that works for Schism, he looks like one of our old roommates. Uh, this guy oh. is a. <laughs> He's like a real world mercenary. So anytime he pops uh, up on screen, I'm like, oh, Kyle. Uh, <laughs> okay. His name is Kyle. Yeah, his name is Kyle. It's already 4 p.m. Wow. <clears throat> I will say right now, this guy would not be running a tech company. No. <laughs> no. This is just here to, to attack like douche bro culture. Yeah. Well, maybe his dad or whatever bought him a company or something. Yeah. He gets to feel important. I love how everyone's like, yeah, you get him, Miles. The name of their app is Nut Bust, too. I know. (laughs) 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 You don't even notice. Oh, it's great. That is a very crank thing. Oh, yeah. I love how I love the brief shot yeah. where it's just a fisheye lens on Miles. It was like, oh, crap. Yeah. Little things. Why don't more action films look like this? It's too hard to come up with. Do you mean sh- shot in mediums? Because I agree. (laughs) Everything's either obscenely close or when you get lucky, very wide and you can see everything. Yeah. (laughs) 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 The mo- th- this film is like frenetic without feeling chaotic yeah yeah it's like there's a <laughs> there's like a, an elegance to the uh, the freneticism it's like the variety of shots makes it feel yeah. way more energetic it's like if Michael Bay had an actual editor mm. <laughs> And he and Michael Bay didn't film all of his own shots himself. <clears throat> well, like even what we just watched, like him getting out of park and leaving, every shot's just one action. Like you're only seeing the one thing that yeah. is happening. 
It's not taking three, jumping over the fence. <laughs> right. I was just thinking. <laughs> you were just thinking taking three, jumping yeah. over the fence? Yeah. That's uh, not 70 cuts for two seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> when, like, that shot with a sweep under the fence underneath him jumping would have been, A, much easier, and B, way better looking. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I will say right here, the visual effects, yeah, that's not so good. <laughs> this is the most green screen it gets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What city did they shoot in? Because they said, like, oh, New, Ze- New Zealand but, Film Commission or whatever at the beginning. No. Yeah. Green screen, not so good. Right here. Hey. <laughs> he was just in the office. Yeah. Getting shot at, and now he's on the toilet, like, watching this, and he's like, oh, yeah, this is amazing. Well, he's got to get out the fear shits oh, after that. Oh, that visual effect is terrible. <laughs> yeah, this is where it skirts into, like, the Deadpool territory of yeah. do the most you can, and people will just pass it. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. What happened to the person driving the other car? Oh, uh, he was <laughs> still in there. Magically, all the traffic stopped, though. Good thing she's still hepped up on coke. <laughs> <clears throat> and he's probably hepped up on adrenaline. Mm-hmm. So it is crank. <laughs> <laughs> Well, doesn't he use an inhaler in the first one to keep going? Because there's like adrenaline in them. No, they use the um the nasal spray because it has right. um it has the adrenaline booster in it. I always forget uh, Dennis from It's Always Sunny is the nurse that injects him with a uh, straight adrenaline in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets killed in the second one by accident. <laughs> such an idiot. It's literally the plot of Suicide Squad. (laughs) Yeah. I am a big fan of the trope of how many superficial bullet wounds can you pump your heroes full of before it's just unbelievable that they're still running. Yeah, I think the uh, the winner of that is um, the remake of Evil Dead. (laughs) Yeah, that guy that keeps getting just the shit beaten out of him, but somehow keeps getting back up. This I never bought. I never quite bought this. Oh, her like pyrophobia. Yeah, it's like she's been in tons of gunfights and she's fired rocket launchers. I don't quite buy it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely shaky. You can say with her firing the rocket launcher, she's at least in control of the explosion. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't disbelieve it because it could also just be PTSD. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the fact that we're all questioning it says it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a terrible way to hitchhike. <laughs> Can't even put my thumb out. <clears throat> I wonder if he actually got like pretty good at manipulating stuff over the course of the filming. I think he probably did. He probably had to. Yeah. Like, even just that shot, him balancing a cell phone on a gun hand. Yeah. No other movie. 
Uh, now I wish there were a scene where he disguises his guns by putting his hands into giant foam fingers. Like a <laughs> Nick, like a baseball <laughs> game. Yes. Guns that's Akimbo crank, too. That's for the that's for the crank three pitch. The showdown will take the final showdown will take place in a baseball stadium, uh, post COVID, obviously. Um, and they have to sneak in, but he has to put his hands into giant foam fingers. And that's how that that's how him and Jeb get in. There you Cut go. Cut it, print. Mm-hmm. I think I think you have to find a like a plot way to like physically tie them together. Like they're on like some kind of electronic tether. So it's like Transporter Three. They can't go with. They can't go outside of thirty feet of each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a state of movie. I was like, this feels familiar as I'm saying it out loud. There you go. It's the plot of uh, Transporter Three mixed with Crank and everything you can think of. There you go. So they hate each other, but they're stuck together. Right. <laughs> the Cypress Hill music comes in. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is definitely the most like Deadpool feeling scene in the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Not in a bad way, just like the it fact feels like them going to go to the helicarrier. Yeah, the first Deadpool. Oh crap! How did I not notice this gang meeting happening? <laughs> 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 Love the smoke. Atmosphere. Nice and hazy. Style. <laughs> oh, I will say there's a little too much smoke. I keep thinking what's on fire. Literally, like stuff behind them. Well, barrels, it doesn't mean like there's like. It looks like a building is on fire. Maybe like a tire fire or something. True. (laughs) 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 Where did she get the... Shut up. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's almost a running gag at this point of like, where does she go to find these weapons? It doesn't matter. I will say Miles has excellent plot armor. <laughs> I will say I don't like the... Um... Gunshots create sparks. I don't care for that very much. Yeah, especially from the kind of gun that she's using. Those things are basically small missiles. Like, they're not ricocheting off anything. Oh, gee. Yeah. Oh, geez. Well, the fact she was shooting concrete. It's not going to make sparks. Why are, there, why are there sparks? He's hitting concrete. Oh, slight film rescue callback. What if this movie were set in the bright universe? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, how do you make bright infinitely more interesting, you mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how do, you mean, how do you make bright good? Okay. <laughs> that blood, nah. 
<laughs> it's very viscous. Those are ketchup packets. Yeah, it, it's, it reminded me a little bit of um, Dawn of the Dead, the original Dawn of the Dead. It looks like paint. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the end of Antichrist. <laughs> I flip back and forth whether I should watch Antichrist or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, unless you are familiar with what that director does and you like it, no. Yeah, if you don't like nasty stuff, don't watch it. Mm, okay, that's Lars Van Trier's, right? Mm-hmm. Melancholia guy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let me describe a scene to you. A woman like, takes a pair of scissors and mm-hmm. cuts her clitoris off. Hmm. Do you want to watch this movie now? Nope. I didn't think so. Like, doesn't Willem Dafoe ejaculate blood in it or something? Yeah, she hits him in the balls with like a thing. What is it like? A ball peen hammer. A ball peen mm. hammer, and she and he still has an erection, and she starts jerking him off, and then he ejaculates blood. <laughs> I'm glad that's it's, on our a Guns Akimbo <laughs> watch party. You're welcome. <laughs> Chaos reigns. <laughs> the fox and the hound version of that oh is the best. perfect gif yeah <laughs> 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 what a dick I mean do you blame him I feel like I'm in the same yeah. position <laughs> yeah okay yeah it's true yeah That's Simon Pegg, for fuck's sake. That looks so much like Simon Pegg. <laughs> he does. Uh. My daughter, Nix. <laughs> It would have been great if this movie started off with that, but, you know, bring it full circle. Yeah. I mean, we're not saying this is a perfect movie. No, I mean, no. There's there's a few things we like, yeah, we could have made that a little better. We could have made this a little bit better. Just the fact that it is so much better than so many, move, many other movies that have infinitely yeah. more budget. It's like everything's almost forgivable. Yeah, every dollar is on screen right now. Like, if, if he... if. If the this main... is the opposite of the Psycho remake, where every dollar went to Gus Van Sant's bank account. Right. Like, a character could literally die and go to heaven for a minute in this movie, and I'd still be on board. <laughs> <laughs> what? I still don't know what those M&Ms are for. Or if they're even M&Ms. Product placement? Hmm. That shocked me when I saw this first time. I was like, no Same. way. Same. We just learned his backstory. I know. No. They sound like Michael Ironside there. A little bit. Rule uh, number one. Yeah. This movie also makes very efficient use of technology. Yeah. It's not obnoxious. <laughs> Do you think this high quality video is streaming over the internet? F- th- like, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
Oh, now I'm just picturing the version of this movie where the big mastermind behind Schism is played by Malcolm McDowell. Uh, He would kill it. That is a beautiful gun. That is a 357 Magnum. That yeah, is a, it, lo- it looks like a dirty hairy gun. That is the dirty hairy gun, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, cops never carried that kind of gun. <laughs> no. That's too high powered. There, there's a reason that there's a term called police issue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They have to keep track of these things. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, just that the colors that they have popping out. Mm-hmm. Oh, they, how they called out he had the bulletproof vest and it still didn't help him. So the bad guys are at least as smart as the bad guys in Blank Man. <laughs> Great comparison. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen Blank Man. Mm, you won't regret it if you do. Mm. You also won't regret it if you won't. Again, showing uh, us a character we've already seen in crowd shots. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody already had a tattoo. That's beautiful. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Was that just Daniel Radcliffe in real life? I think so. <laughs> It's three o'clock in the morning. I want to go home. <laughs> Can I get a selfie? Yes. Walks away. <laughs> Apparently he's a really nice guy. Here's my time. Yeah, I've seen your shit. Like, the blue lights inside of that van for no reason other than to make it look good. I know. This, like, we were talking about, yeah, on the Psycho remake, the, like, uninspired lighting, and this is, like, fuck your inspiration. It's just to look good. (laughs) Yeah. Again, enough time had passed between now and then that you forgot about him getting kidnapped off the toilet, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. That said, there really is no reason why it couldn't have been Nova. You still have you still have him and Nix at the end of the film. I think they just didn't want to fridge Nova because at the beginning yeah. they called out the fact that they're not like other stories like this. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I kind of respect re- it. this. Isn't retrograde? Hit. <laughs> Why wouldn't you know what that means? It's a troll on the internet. Yes, you do. Oh, I just get it. Why it says kindness on her gun. Kill them with kindness, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like cheering, like, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> what is he watching it on? <laughs> There's more dudes in the locker room. I know. I think that's not even a locker room. I think it's just like gay guys hanging out. Yeah. 
I, I don't think that's a locker room. It could be like a frat apartment or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing what I know now about the film later, I do wonder if they workshopped their dialogue for the cameras. Like, in uh, universe. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Like they're Make breaking, it look convincing. They're breaking in an internal fourth wall. Like, they're making it look convincing for the cameras so right. they can sneak in later. I have never seen this actress in anything else. Me either. She's hot. Hmm. I'd love to see this guy play Victor Zaz in like a very serious Batman movie. Yeah. Yeah. So Nova's... I mean, play- unfortunately, we already had Zaz in... Um, Birds of Prey. And Birds of Prey, yeah, and he got killed. Y- yeah, I- I'm going to say unrelated to that universe. Yeah. <laughs> just, a, just a Zazz film. <laughs> Put it in the Jokerverse. The... Yeah, yeah, like the... Their yeah, sure, D- why not? Their DC Dark. Batman. Batman's version of Seven is something I would still love <laughs> to see. I said well, no. I mean, DC did start out their Black Label recently. Why don't yep. they just have like a separate universe where they just say the DC Black Label? Yeah. These are the Dark twisted universe that's separate from everything else. Right. Uh, before it. That's where the Snyder burst can exist, because oh. then it'd be, it'd be fine there. Walking Dead. Right, so Nova's played by Natasha Lou Bordizo, and she made her apparent her debut in Netflix's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny. Interesting. Yeah, there was a there was a sequel to Crouching Tiger. Uh. Apparently, it wasn't very good. Unfortunately, hard to top the original. Yeah, that that's one of those movies that like if you can't come close, don't even try. Yeah. <laughs> love how they set up the flashback remember what we Spe- talked about speaking of birds of prey <laughs> how they re they rewind the whole movie to d- detail shit they should have told you earlier on right yeah There's a butt. It's a dude's butt. But he's like... Caked up? Yeah. That's all. This is a little convenient, I would say. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, your dad's right here. That way you know I'm not lying. No, I mean the convenience of, oh, Richter just happened to kill her her mom, no, her mom and her dad. Mm. Just the convenience of it. And she happens to be a player in schism. Just, I don't know. A little too perfectly matched up, but I mean, if you're if you're into the movie at this point, it's like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Also, just yeah, love, we're, in the, we're in the third act. It doesn't matter. I also just love. I was like, he killed your dad. See, he's literally right there. Yeah. <laughs> This movie is like so well lit. God damn, dude. It's like amazing. Yeah. The the darks are so dark, but everything else looks so bright. Yeah. <laughs> Someone tells me that was an outtake. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> where did he get the inhaler? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question where he got the inhaler. Scott learned the power of self-respect. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, after watching this movie, I want Daniel Radcliffe to recreate the final scene of Wizards, where he just shoots the evil wizard with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best joke in the movie. (laughs) (laughs) Gotta love the blue and red. Yeah, this is like the split the difference color palette. Yeah. (laughs) Where do you think I got the idea from? (laughs) (laughs) Who does this cover of Wild One? Like I can't find anywhere the information on who did the cover of that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's got to be in the credits. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get the Dead Squad on it. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Indian guy. (laughs) So here I was thinking I couldn't tie this movie back into Quibi. (laughs) But I I literally watched the most dangerous game movie on there right before this. This was a nice palate cleanser. But in that movie, when things start falling apart, Christoph Waltz is like, Eh, no big deal. No big deal. We'll just move to another place. But here, the guy is just really scared. Like, no, this isn't what I planned at all. Eh. Which <laughs> I thought was kind of refreshing. <laughs> just some dick blood. <laughs> Unless it's odd job spork. <laughs> <laughs> How many people want to kick some ass? <laughs> oh, though, she's the one that wanted a selfie early on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? It's just more credence that he's a Terry Pratchett character. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's actually viewing it. And here's your justification is how you get him and Chip Chelios to hook up in like Los Angeles. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is the way. Like that's how you do it. And and they're computing schism through the head of the guy from Crank Two. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess that this No, he threw him into the ocean in the end of Crank Two. Do what? He threw his head into the ocean in the end of Crank 2. He, yeah, like, so he they punted pull, him into the ocean. They pull his brain out to use it as a computer. <laughs> that, that way he can keep coming back. Sure. 
<laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna guess that this, the purge, crank, and John Wick are all in the same universe. Sure. <laughs> one is East Coast, one is West Coast. Where does the purge take place? Where's the what? Uh, uh... Where does the purge take place? Oh. The first one. Like some suburb. In a house, oh. the whole the first purge is all in one house. Well, yeah, but like, what city? Oh, I don't know. Googling it right now. It's just random, nondescript town. <laughs> oh man. Samara weaving is Gwenpool. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. All right, the first purge takes place in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. <gasps> it just peaked real hard there. <laughs> <laughs> eh, learn to use your left hand. Yeah. Dude, getting shot with that sh- with that fucking automatic sh- these, who had the fucking bright idea of like let's make an automatic shotgun? Just like I think, some- I think it was in one of the SWAT games actually. Yeah, like I'm so- I'm talking about the guy that made the actual gun. Like some some sadistic assholes that yeah, let's totally have a shotgun, but let's make it an automatic. <laughs> it can't hey, kill people why fast not? enough. Yeah. <laughs> You're not dying fast enough. I need to fix this. And have like crazy kickback. <laughs> I think Terry Crews uses that in one of the uh, Expendables movies. The first one. That's right. He has, he has that, that automatic shotgun. Some of the best gun sound mixing in a film I've ever heard. Yeah, the movie is terrible, but. <laughs> <laughs> that scene's just like a constant beratement of foom, foom, foom. Yeah. And this is how you know Harry still has the luck potion on hand. Because he keeps living. <laughs> Get it, Chelsea Grin. <laughs> 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 Uh, I would have loved it if the She-Ra or He-Man theme kicked in <laughs> instead. The Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I love that. Fatality. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is not optimal. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're all like, what the fuck? And he seemed like such a people person. Yeah. Why these people aren't running, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, my boss is abandoning me? Oh, fuck this. I don't get paid enough for this. No. That or a huge insurance policy goes to their next of kin. (laughs) (laughs) 
You could just use your left hand. <laughs> you shouldn't that, let it directly that, touch that, ice, that, because that, then it <laughs> destroys the nerve endings. <laughs> Take your other finger. It's over, Rambo. It's never over. Yeah. yeah. They forgot to put uh they forgot to put a color grading on that blood splatter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little too bright. I'm pretty sure the guy in the uh, gimp mask is also one of the people that's in the cutaway shots of the crowd watching on their cell phones. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. That is pretty fucked up. (laughs) See, right there, they got that one right. But some shots, it's not quite uh, graded properly. Like, that was a Batman reference, right? What? Murder is art. I make art till somebody dies. Oh, yeah. Batman 89. Yeah, Batman 89. This is way better than the factory scene in Wanted. There's some Jesus imagery for you. (laughs) Yeah. In the Bible, it does say Jesus went to hell for three days. Why? To get the... He he stole the keys of death from the devil so that uh, people could leave what is basically Jewish purgatory and finally go to heaven. Sheol. Why is is that not a movie? Dude, there's a lot of cool shit in the Bible. It's just not a lot of the stuff people talk about. Yeah. Yeah, go back. I'm waiting for the resurgence of the violent Bible movies. <laughs> Do you mean Velocipaster? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, you don't know about this movie? No. Oh, oh. Nick. Okay, that's the next commentary track. Uh, yeah, no, I'm on board. I'm, guess, I'm guessing yeah, that's the next a, commentary track. I'm guessing a dinosaur priest? Um, it, I, So... Yes, I'm, in the I'm, I'm picturing form. a velociraptor. I'm picturing a velociraptor in priestly robes. Uh, it, more like um, like a reverend, but but it it's shot like with what was definitely a porn crew. 
Yeah, I think it was the asylum. Oh, was it asylum? that makes sense. I, okay. I think it was the asylum. Let me check. I'm looking it up now. It's one of those where they tried to make the title work for like the, the, the title is the movie. Yeah, yeah. They they built a plot to make the title work, but the, the title's just it, too insane. They were trying to do another Sharknado. Yeah, yeah. Intentionally trying to do a Sharknado. No, it's not the asylum. Wow. It's uh, Hollow Tree Films and Leica Come Home Productions. Oh. Like Shot for like, 30, Leica 35, as in... The dog. I thought you were going to say Leica as in Kubo and the Two Strings, no, no, Coraline. Okay. No, the, Leica was the name of the first dog that was sent into space. Okay. That eventually starved and died in space. Gotcha. Okay, but yeah, but uh, shot for $35,000. Yep, looks like it. It's only 75 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot to get a movie to 90 minutes. It took an hour to write. I thought it'd take an hour to read. <laughs> 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 took an hour to write. thought it'd take an hour to shoot. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I love this. Your big action hero moment. <laughs> they spent all this money on a shot and he misses. <laughs> 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 he misses by like 10 feet. <laughs> oh, it's the best. <laughs> Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm mad that it's not the touch. Yeah. Isn't this also on the Transformers soundtrack though? I don't know. Probably. I, I know like, Dare like it is. is. Dare to believe you can survive. Thank you. Finally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pistol whip you. Yeah. And if you get hit, it's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they did actually play Manhunt because it's literally the same thing that Starkweather says to the main character at the end of Manhunt, <laughs> which is that I made you, and then you shove a chainsaw through his head. <clears throat> and yeah, Manhunt is not a good game. No. <laughs> no, it's very boring. <laughs> the Hans Gruber. Yeah. I was actually we get- actually see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually getting uh Death of Ultimate Spider Man vibes, but it's in reverse. It's like uh, that's a bad killing- effect. That's kill you see that, that bad effect right there? Mm. They superimpose the Miles wins over top of the screen, but it clearly was not. It was just superimposed on the screen. <laughs> hey, I saw Crank 2. Yeah. <laughs> this is literally Crank 2. 
and the oxygen leaves his brain. Yep. True. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they were going to go full kick-ass. Like, if you think I'm alive because I'm narrating this, stop being such a smart-ass. Yeah. You haven't seen American Beauty, Sunset Boulevard, In Bruges? Yeah. Ah. How he survives is never made clear. Yeah. Uh, this is clearly, like, sequel sequel bait. Like, we can't kill our main character because we have we have plans for a sequel. Well, this is definitely Chev Chelios' survival. Yeah. It's a video game. Somebody yeah. put it in another quarter and they're ready to go again. Shrapnel City. There you go. <laughs> I guess he found Nix's stash. Yeah. (laughs) 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 I love that guy. See, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be God. Maybe. I bet. Because he was. Oh, it's so good. He was watching an internet live stream on a on a, FM a TV, TV that was broken. <laughs> He's Tom <laughs> Bombadil. <TV>. Yeah. <laughs> and Edward Wright is that Edgar Wright's brother? Maybe it is. Probably. I'm looking it up. Yeah, when Ricker is like, "I made you, and this isn't gonna go away," it was actually giving me a, a lot of Death of Spider-Man vibes, where it's like. No, Norman, if you kill me, it's not going to bring back your company, your son, or make your hairstyle go into fashion. And the response is, yeah, but you'll be dead. And that'll make me happy. Yep. No, it's not. It's not. Never mind. Close enough. Yeah, close enough. I'm just going to assume it is. (laughs) I I wonder if it's a stage name to fuck with people. That's possible. possible. What a good time. Michael Keaton's, Michael Keaton's name is a stage name. I, I always yeah, forget. Isn't his, you know what, isn't his, his birth actual, name Michael Douglas? Yes. Yeah. That's why he changed it. <laughs> Damn, this one's taken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We need to get a crank three, please. Now, let's see. Who was it? Who was it that was uh, his... Friend in the bathroom. Who was it? Edwin Hadley? Wright. What? Or Hadley? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's, his name is Milo or something. Stanton. Stanton. Yeah. All right. What's the? Uh... And now we know the origin of John Wick. He didn't use a VPN. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. <laughs> 